apart from above objects do you see such angles around you every day children this is an open book can you see this this is a line this is another line they meet each other at this point in the corner these lines form an angle here the two lines ba and bc are called arms of an angle the two arms meet at one common point this common point is called as the vertex of an angle in this figure the vertex is point b we must have the vertex point in the middle while reading the name of any angle here for example we must read it as angle a b c we use a symbol for the word angle while writing the name of the angle the symbol used is here we can write the angle as angle a b c children can we say that the above figure has angle c b a yes we can read the angle like that as well remember that the alphabet showing the vertex should always be placed in the middle we cannot read it as angle c a b it should be read as angle a b c or angle c b a children let's know more about these our friends seen in everyday life angles are formed at various places let's think of the following english alphabets a e f h k l m n t v w x y z we also see angles between the trunk and the branches of a tree corners of a wall corners of a table between armrest and seat of a chair corners of a cupboard corner of baskets etc let's learn the types of angles there are three types of angles a right angle an acute angle an obtuse angle you can try to make these angles with your own hands keep your hands straight in front of you horizontally fingers should be pointed away from your body hands should be parallel to the floor keep the palms facing the ceiling there will be a right angle between your stretched hand and your body now bring your left hand up turning at the shoulder your right hand remains parallel to the floor the angle between the right hand and left hand is an obtuse angle now slowly take the left hand up now it touches your ear the angle between the two hands is the right angle now keep left hand parallel to the ground move it up now from the front side now you can see the angle formed by the hands is less than 90 degree so it is an acute angle isn't it interesting we could show the three types of angles acute right and obtuse angle by suitably moving hand through the shoulder by moving your hand through elbow you can again see all these angles form at the elbow joint acute right obtuse this 
is the beauty of human body measurement of an angle you know that we can measure height in inches or feet and weights in grams or kilograms we use a ruler to measure small lens a tape to measure longer lens or height and we use a weighing scale to measure weight similarly any angle can be measured too how can we decide if the angle is smaller or larger than another angle the instrument used to measure an angle is called as a protractor the edge of a protractor is that of a semicircular shape we can also draw any angle using a protractor if a measurement is given you must have seen the protractor in your compass box do you remember how to measure a ray or a line you place the zero mark of a ruler at the beginning point of a line you match the ruler across the line from beginning point to the end point of the line is the total length of the line let's know more about this friend see the protractor carefully it has a base line from left to right it has numbers from 0 to 180 the protractor is divided in 180 equal parts each marking line on a ruler shows 1 mm similarly each part is known as 1 degree 1 degree is written as 1 degree look at the protractor from the left hand side each small line is given numbers from 0 onwards every tenth line has a longer line like this the divisions are marked from 0 10 20 till 180 now look from right to left the numbers are marked from 0 to 180 number 90 is in the middle or is the center of a protractor it is shown by a straight line these are the numbers which help us to measure any angle let's now keep the protractor on each of the above angles and see the measurement remember always keep the center point of the horizontal line of the protractor and the vertex point of an angle exactly on each other measurement of all angles is written in degree and its symbol what did we learn the angles have two sides they are called as the arms of the angle the two arms of the angle meet at one common point this common point is called as the vertex of an angle the instrument used to measure an angle is called a protractor we can also draw an angle using a protractor protractor is divided in 180 equal parts each part is known as 1 degree 1 degree is written as 1 degree exercise see the figures and write the names of the angles seen in the figure see the figures and write the names of the angles seen in the figure one the figure of an open notebook or book making an obtuse angle two figure of an open flap of a clap which is used before the shot of a movie making an acute angle 3 figure of an electric pole fixed in ground making right angle or figure of right turn symbol showing sharp right angle 4 